Are you serious? Are you serious? I have incredible information. Now, this happened about four days ago, and I've been talking about it last night on my live show. And I'll be talking about it today on my live show called The Coming Apocalypse. You can find it at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Come to our website, live show, live video, live audio, live chat, okay? But they have come up with a new implant microchip that's done an incredible event. Really, this is incredible. I'm still blown away by it, but these are the days we're living in. Unreal. Are you serious? What? A paralyzed woman. Now get this. A woman who lost the use of her limbs after a devastating stroke nearly 15 years ago has taken a sip of coffee. What? By guiding a robotic arm with her thoughts. With her thoughts. Let's say it again. It's not a remote control. She can't move her arms, she can't move her legs, she's paralyzed. She can't even speak from this devastating stroke she had. But they put the implant in her brain and she could tell a robotic arm to pick up, be just like this cup would be sitting here. She was just thinking, just thinking, and, and, and through commands of her own brain, she told this arm to grab the cup and put it to her mouth like this. and set it down. This is incredible. I mean, folks, this is incredible. Look at this. The 58-year-old woman used a brain implant to control the robot and to bring a flask of coffee to her lips. For the first time, she has picked up anything since she was paralyzed and left unable to speak by a catastrophic brainstem stroke. Doctors hailed the feat as the first demonstration of an implant that directly controls a reaching and gripping robotic arm by sensing and decoding the patient's brain signals. What? What? Are you serious? How does that, well, wait a minute. We're not, we're saying you put a microchip in somebody's brain and it, it has the ability to read your mind and to obey commands of only the brain? This is this is this is unreal. Get this: the work is part of a U.S. clinical trial of an experimental implant called BrainGate. Hang on to that for a minute. That doctors see is the first step towards devices that can bypass damage to the nervous system and allow paralyzed people to regain control of their limbs or amputees to move prosthesis. That's incredible. Quote, at the very beginning, I had to concentrate, she said, and focus on the muscles I would use to perform certain functions. Braingate felt natural and comfortable, so I quickly got accustomed to the trial. Writing in the journal Nature, researchers have described the trials in which a woman known only as S3. They we are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive, we do not forget. Expect us.